All right, y'all, with the NBA postseason starting here in the next two weeks, these are the respective teams that I have coming out of the East and the West. Let's get right into it. The team that I have coming out of the Eastern Conference is no other than the Boston Celtics. The Boston Celtics nucleus has been together for a long period of time. They have continuity. They know how to play together. Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown continue to improve each year. Marcus Smart, ever since he was moved to the point guard position, it seems like we're getting the best out of him. He has an advantage on the offensive end because he's bigger than most point guards that he's going up against offensively. Defensively, he's still a juggernaut. He's a player that can switch literally one through five. They present a lot of challenges for a number of the teams in the Eastern Conference. Surprisingly, they match up really well against Giannis and the Milwaukee Bucks, who at this point may be their toughest matchup in the Eastern Conference. Respectively, both teams are first and second in the East. I don't really think that the, the Milwaukee Bucks have an answer for Jason Tatum. Middleton, yeah, you could stick him on, but as we've seen in the past, Giannis does tire himself felt pretty quickly. If he has to exert too much energy on the offensive and defensive end, I just see him getting tired out. And just the fact that the Boston Celtics have Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, two players that can go at Giannis, every possession, it's going to be hard for the Milwaukee Bucks to really come on, a, on top and beat the Boston Celtics. Reason number two as to why I have Boston Celtics as the selection to come out is they have youth with experience. One thing about the Boston Celtics is Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are no older than 26 year old. They're still young. They're not even in the prime of their career. So they still have those young legs. I know that they probably have miles on, on their legs just because they've been playing a lot of playoff basketball as of recently, but they're still sharp. They're still improving and they still have that youthfulness that will help them when playoff basketball starts. They added depth to the team, which helped them, um, navigate throughout the regular season so that's going to play big dividends for them the fact that they have a lot of depth that they got during the off season and they have those young legs to go through a deep playoff run the last and final reason as to why i think boston will be the team that comes out of the postseason is they're determined they got close to winning the nba championship last season they got a taste of almost winning an NBA championship and it is shown through their determination and how they started the season this year, they set the tone that they wanted to be a great offensive and defensive team, and they've been just that this entire season. They tailed off at some points during the season, but I think that's common amongst teams um, through 82-game schedule. So, like I said, man, the Boston Celtics have all the reason in the world to have the confidence to this year. Their toughest opponent is going to be the Milwaukee Bucks, but I just think that Boston... The experience that they have, the continuity that they have, and the determination that they came in the season with, they're going to be a tough opponent for anybody when the postseason starts. And that's why they're the team that I have to come out to the Eastern Conference. All right, y'all. So now let's get into my selection in the Western Conference. I have to go with the Phoenix Suns. I know the Phoenix Suns haven't played a lot together. They don't have the chemistry that the Boston Celtics may have. But what the Phoenix Suns do have is a lot of talent. They went ahead and they acquired Kevin Durant, and just that name alone makes them a problem in the Western Conference. They have one of the best scorers to ever play this game. Kevin Durant is a matchup problem for anybody on the court. The fact that they have him and they still have Devin Booker that can play second fiddle to Kevin Durant makes the Phoenix Suns dangerous for anybody that they may go up against in the Western Conference. They're going to be an offensive problem for a lot of different teams. Teams won't have answers for them on offense. They're going to have a hard time containing those two guys on the defensive end. Then they have the maestro in Chris Paul, who will be able to control the tempo. Yeah, Chris Paul is not a dynamic scorer. Yeah, we know that Chris Paul does have a tough time staying healthy, but I think that the fact that he will not have to be relied upon a lot in the postseason will help him tremendously. If they can keep his minutes down and try to save him for when they get deeper in the postseason, it will play big dividends for the Phoenix Suns. So like I said, just that name alone, Kevin Durant makes the Phoenix Suns a problem in the playoffs. Second reason is depth. The Phoenix Suns did a great job of surrounding their nucleus when they acquired Kevin Durant. Yes, they had to give up Cam Johnson and Mikel Bridges, but they're able to acquire TJ Warren and Terrence Ross. 
on top of having Kevin Durant being acquired at the deadline. So the Phoenix Suns have a lot of depth at the forward position, and that's what you need in order to be a successful team in the postseason. You need switchable guys at the wing position that can make shots, who can defend multiple positions, and the Phoenix Suns have just that. They're going to be a big matchup problem for many teams in the postseason, and the fact that they have players who have experience, this is a team that has gotten to the finals. Yeah, I know they didn't win in the finals, but they have guys that have won a championship, or I'll say Kevin Durant has won a championship. So now they have a leader that can kind of lead them and play in that number one role when the game has mattered the most. Yeah, I know Kevin Durant hasn't had to lead a team, I've heard it all, but Kevin Durant is a problem. He has a great supporting cast around him. Devin Booker is going to help him tremendously. DeAndre Ayn is going to help him tremendously. He has shooters that are surrounding him. Chris Paul, who could, who's a maestro, who's a dynamic point guard. Phoenix Suns have the right pieces to be successful when the postseason begins. And I think that they're probably one of the better teams in the Western Conference. Their biggest challenge to me will be the Los Angeles Clippers. But I just don't know if I can trust the Los Angeles Clippers to stay healthy throughout the duration of the postseason. So I got to go with the Phoenix Suns as my selection to come out the Western Conference. Let me know your thoughts in your comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe. Check out my next video where I give my selection to win the NBA championship this season.